at that moment. My hands are shaking as if I'm the one who did it. My eyes. The painter Willie Karakazi has established a new form of presentation. Accompanied by young Rwandan poet, he creates a picture in front of an audience in just a few minutes. My art can help people to be creative. My art can help people to change their life. Karakazi works at a gallery named Urubanga, which means beauty in Kinyarwanda. The gallery was founded in Rwanda's capital Kigali in 2010. For most artists here, traditional handicrafts are a thing of the past. With his art, Karakazi hopes to show people a mirror of their lives. African people, we are like, still have question mark in our mind. We need other people to think for us. We have to think ourselves for ourselves, then we can do something. So I was trying to do, we have a mind, but if we don't use it, it's like a bottle with drawing water. It means there's nothing inside. Artists like Willie Karakazi need other sources of income to make ends meet and must therefore earn some extra money. So he teaches art to schools in Kigali. And of course, Ubaranga artists network and support each other. They want to get out of their galleries. Willie Karakaza is attending the opening of the exhibition of a photographer friend at the Goethe Institute in Kigali. On this day, nothing is for sale. The works are hanging on the walls, but in Kigali, everything seems to be just a matter of time. Art in Rwanda is blowing up, man. Like in 2008, there was one uh, art cooperative, a place where artists could go to gather to exhibit their art. And now there's like countless. There's like six, seven, eight. They're opening up. Like it seems like a new art space is opening up every couple months. If he can find a buyer, Karakazi earns 300 euros a painting. If not, he stores his works in a safe place. You never know, says Willie Karakazi. Maybe one day he'll be famous.